Yemen's Houthi militant group has attacked a container ship with Ukrainians on board near the Yemeni port city of Mocha in the Red Sea. The attack occurred on July 20, while the video footage from the incident circulated on Telegram app on July 23. Maritime News reported with reference to the United Kingdom Maritime Trade Operations UKMTO, that the Houthis launched two drone attacks on the container ship. The first attack was launched with the use of an unmanned aerial vehicle that exploded in the immediate vicinity of the ship, causing minor damage. The second attack on the ship was carried out by a surface unmanned vehicle, which also exploded in close proximity to the ship. The ship and the crew members were safe after the attack. A security officer later reported that a missile had been spotted, passing the vessel and hitting the water near the vessel. The UKMTO urged all ships to transit the sea with caution and to report any suspicious activity. Meanwhile, Reuters news agency reported with reference to a maritime security source that the attacked vessel was a Liberian-flagged container ship. Following the attack, it continued to maneuver at a maximum speed in order to escape. According to marine traffic data, the ship departed Jeddah, Saudi Arabia on July 18 and was scheduled to arrive at a port in Malaysia on July 28. Russian military suffers major setback as faulty bearings ground a quarter of IL-76MD-90A fleet. The use of low-quality wheel bearings has disabled and suspended the operation of five IL-76MD-90A aircraft belonging to Russia's Ministry of Defense. Kremlin-aligned Russian newspaper Kommersant reported this. The main investigative department of Russia's investigative committee has opened a criminal case against the executives of the Balashika foundry and mechanical plant after the plant supplied low-quality bearings for the IL-76. Commissant reported that the investigation revealed that Balashika foundry and mechanical plant purchased bearings from an unknown supplier using forged documents from 2017 to 2022. Vasily Istori Channel noted, citing open source data, that Russia's defense ministry was operating a total of 18 IL-76MD-90A aircraft by the end of 2023. They explained that wheels with sub-par bearings were directed to the Avia Star plant, which had an agreement with the Russian Ministry of Defense to produce 39 IL-76MD-90As by 2018. Due to the inability to fulfill the original contract, the terms were amended and the updated agreement scheduled 13 planes for delivery by 2021 and another 12 by 2028. According to UIA online media outlet, the IL-76MD-90A is a deeply modernized iteration of the IL-76 aircraft featuring lighter wings, a new engine from ODK Perm Motors, an updated navigation system and reinforced landing gear. Analytical portal Oryx provides an account of the number of IL-76 aircraft lost by Russian forces since the beginning of the conflict. In a separate incident, a Russian IL-76 disintegrated during takeoff at the Severny airfield in March 2024, resulting in the death of all 14 crew members due to an alleged engine fire. On July the 18th, a military analyst updated the status of operational aircraft in the Russian armed forces, indicating approximately 850 active. Meanwhile, Stratcom AFU shared a map 
detailing the destruction of Russian aircraft in the first months of 2024.